our phase one is yes, we're going to build public fiber to all our public housing residents, in addition to deploying public free public Wi-Fi in those same neighborhoods. But it will be uh, building on our existing municipal assets and um, wherever possible. And, and Joshua, what are your first steps then in terms of, um, I know that you have some rescue funds, um, rescue plan dollars allocated. What are you going to be using that for? Yeah, so <clears throat> I'll, uh, before I get into that, I guess, h higher level, you know, very similar to Jason, you know, we are the city looking to have that municipal ownership of the fiber infrastructure. And then obviously, well, I shouldn't say obviously, we're not going to be operating this. <laughs> um, you know, we are very sensitive to uh, Michigan's laws around that as well. Uh, however, our framing within our infrastructure plan is one where we do declare this a digital access emergency. And if someone were to say, well, what do you mean by digital access emergency? Well, where does it make the most sense to exemplify it? You heard me say that there was a neighborhood in Detroit that had a 45 day internet outage last year. That is ground zero for an emergency. So we are um, going to be wiring a neighborhood up um, this year, uh, this summer, we want to actually have the homes connected. Um, in June, we're actually wanting to start the construction of our network. Um, it's the uh, Hope Village neighborhood. Um, again, about 2,200 households. And from a demographic standpoint, I don't even have to explain it because only one <laughs> one type of demographic are you going to see that is going to have a 45 day internet outage. Um, you kind of guess the economic situation there. And so um, I think that's going to be the immediate part for us is really focusing on that area. However, we have allocated an additional rescue plan funding to our housing, um, our public housing sites as well. Um, they already have kind of a, a, a wireless desire. Um, and so I think that this is another piece that does come up sometimes is when you have entities that have different beliefs on infrastructure. And for us, you know, we know the end of the day, we want to have a city where we have, a, you know, 381,000 uh, drop points that we need to light. Um, and so we know that we're going to eventually get there. However, we are starting with the neighborhood first, the neighborhood that, you know, again, exemplifies um, the typical demographic we're going to see in a lot of these Detroit neighborhoods. But at the same time, we are going to be running fiber to our housing commission sites with our, you know, ARPA funding. And our belief is if we're able to demonstrate it that way, then when the infrastructure bill of funding comes available, we are now scaling a solution versus saying, hey, we have this big problem. 30% mm -hmm. of Detroiters don't have internet. Oh, will you help? It's like, no, we're actually taking this from a way that this already has results. And with those results, we have the confidence to say, we want, you know, the tune of what we're asking for. And the reason why I don't get